desperate bad luck for the young man there. Now that's going to put the whole race absolutely wide open. In a great passing manoeuvre to win the European title. Right now the four corners to hold on to the European Championship. On the line now, as you can see, the first man, it's uh, Mark Wallace, already pointing into the corner, and off they go. The same problems, these same treacherous conditions face these drivers, not knowing what happens when you turn the wheel. Will I turn in? Will I go wide? Or will I just spin off? Uh, or will I just hit the ground and do a triple somersault like we've just seen there from James Hart? So coming to the end of the first lap, it's Mark Wallace from Johnny Bowden with Chris Slater now in third. And Wallace makes a mistake, and that's let Bowden through in the lead. And... And, well, Bowden spun off as well, so suddenly Chris Slater's inherited that, and then another mistake from Wallace. So it's now Slater from Johnny Bowden in fourth place. We have, I think, is probably Sam Clifton. But again, we see Bowden now trying to make a bit of lead, and I think James Hart's come back through again, which is a quite remarkable performance. But in these conditions, we see Sam Clifton spinning down the straight to put the brakes on. Really, every lap, it's going to be a gaggle of cars fighting. There's going to be cars spinning off. We are used in top class touring, as we said before, to seeing cars following behind and waiting for the chance. But there's a chance at every corner. A, you might get it perfectly right. Some might get it wrong. And this is an A final. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cars there fighting for second place. So take your pick. But out front, we have Mark Wallace, who's led from pole. I think in second place, uh, actually just off the camera mode in second place, second place may well be Zach Smith, who's come through beautifully from sixth place. Um, all battles all the way down. That's Chris Slater going out with James Hart. He's, the rooster tells me his uh, cars are quite remarkable. This is more like speedboat racing than racing uh, uh, touring cars. And as we already heard, of course, the problems with waterproof these cars, any minute a car could just break down because it just gets waterlogged. And of course, electricity and water doesn't mix, and neither is turning in too sharp. As Chris Slater has done, he's spun out, leaving Lee Price to gain another position. He's like ninth, so he's making reveling in these conditions. Being a bit of a Regenmeister, as we used to call Michael Schumacher. Uh, the all white car currently through, I think, is Johnny Bowden recovering from those early spins, so he's coming back up to the field. But still leading, uh, we believe, or I believe, as is Mark, but that, they stopped. Stop there. And there's the dead car there. That is an electrical failure for Polster and leader Mark Wallace. Desperate bad luck for the young man there. Now that's going to put the whole race absolutely wide open. And coming out of that amazing melee, it appears that Zach Smith has leapt to the lead with the orange and black car. A quite remarkable performance in this sort of conditions. In second place, it's, that was Lee Price, a glimpse of him in third, but in second place, we have Chris Slater, who's come up from just fourth in the grid. Zach Smith from sixth, and Lee Price from ninth. Just goes to show that qualifying, not massively important in conditions like these, but Zach Smith has tamed the weather. He's more importantly, he's waterproofed his car properly. He is going to take the national win in the stock class. A great result for the young man as he crosses the line. Let's go. What races do you want to see on Relapse? Let us know in the comments. And remember to like and subscribe to see more classic RC races just like this.